Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. So today we're going to look at a solar power controller from Bateria Power. And this is it here. Pretty nice looking little unit. It's an MPPT controller and we'll talk about what that means later. But uh, yeah, it looks like a nice little one and we're going to hook this thing up and see how it does. Let's start checking it out. Alright, let us uh, let me just show you what came in the box. This is the the actual controller itself. Like I said, it's a MPPT controller. We'll talk about that in a second. It has the uh, SAE connectors on both ends. Alright, we'll get some close-ups of these also. In the box it came with screws to mount it. So you got four screws and that those go in the holes in the corners. Also came with a couple of adapters to adapt to other things. Um, this one's bare. Well, it has the SAE and then a bare on this side. So, and I set this one up with an XT60, as you can see right there. And that hooks up to my, my, uh, my solar panels. That way I can adapt everything up. Most of my stuff's gonna go to the XT60s, everything for my solar most likely. It also came with a small user manual. This is for your phone, I don't think this one's Bluetooth. One of these is Bluetooth and it, you can control it from your phone. I don't think this model is the one though, but we'll check that out if it is. We'll hook it up and try it. All right, so uh, you have two, basically two types of controllers. You have a PW, PWM, which is a pulse width modulation. That's your less expensive ones. They've been around a lot longer. They're, they're pretty good and sometimes it's the way to go depending on what you can afford, okay? Then you have the MPPT, which is Maximum PowerPoint Tracking. These are usually a little more expensive, but they're usually about anywhere from 15 to 20, 25% more solar collection. So, and I think, I think they roughly say you have about six good hours of solar a day in most places, uh, give or take, depending on where you live. So you want to make the most out of that sun as you can. So an MPPT, if you can afford it, is probably the better way to go. It also works um, when panels, like the sun, say the sun's right here, going straight down on it, uh, PWM works fine. When it moves over to the side or gets shadowed, that's when the uh, MPPT shine. So that's where you can get your 20, probably somewhere 15 to 20% difference in what they'll actually bring in. I have an AGM battery I'm going to hook today. I was trying to run it down. I, I, I hooked up a, uh, an inverter to it and run some power off of it so I can bring it down. So hopefully we'll get a little better draw from the solar. Remember these SAEs. The deal with SAEs is you have to really be concerned. Sometimes these come reversed where the positives on the negative side and you don't want to hook something up like that because you don't want to destroy what you're trying to hook up. Okay guys, so let's take a look at uh, all the parts up close and see how this thing performs. So here's the battery I'm gonna hook it up to. Now, this is not the way to hook this up correctly. You guys don't shoot me for this, but I use these just to clamp these two on for this. So I could run the battery down some. It was just temporary. I ran about half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. But let me show you guys something. I told you guys you had to be really careful with these SEE connectors. Now I have this, and this is how I was going. This is how I'm going to hook it to the battery. Okay. So when I hook this up, if you trace this red red one all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, it comes to this fitting here. All right. When I hook that, if I hook that up that way to the solar panel connector, these are reversed. This is positive and this is negative. That's the reason I said always check these things first, guys. I just wanted to show that to you. This stuff's gonna all come off and we're just gonna have these connected to it and this will connect to the solar panel. All right, guys, just wanted to show that to you. Okay, guys, this is the box that the uh, solar controller comes in right here. Just a cardboard box, nothing fancy. I can't, I think it actually came in another box from Amazon also, all right? So in the box, I told you guys I got two of these 
The second one I hooked up my XT60 to. I can hook it to my solar system, okay? The only other thing it came with were the screws and the screws to mount it. I may or may not use those depending on where and how I mount this. All right, let me show you my setup. Okay guys, so this is the uh, solar setup. This is a 200 watt solar panel from All Powers. If you want to see a review on this, I will throw my uh, review on this also in the uh, description below. But that's, that's how we have that. Let me reset up and go over to the battery. Let me see what I can set this thing up a little better for you. Now we are having some sun today that has a lot of clouds. So not the greatest day for the, for the sun today. But right now it's out. Right now we have nothing coming in because we're not hooked up. But I will hook this, set this up to where you guys can see it, hopefully. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty good right there. All right. So I'm going to hook this up now. Hopefully nothing moves. That's the problem with doing this. So remember, our red is going to be negative now. So always hook positive first. So this is our positive. Okay. We got a little spark. That's normal. Push the button here. Okay, it's showing. And we are on gel. This is actually an AGM battery, so we're going to have to reset it. But it looks like we're getting almost 100%, or we are getting 100%. That's probably what that means. 12.9, 13 volts now, and then 1.5 amps. The sun just went behind some clouds, so we're not, we're not getting full power right now. So I think we probably want to hold this down. Okay, and we want to make that, this is an AGM battery. So hold it down again, hopefully it stays on AGM. And it does. All right, now we're in the right chemistry. This does gel, AGM, and lipos, or lithium, lipo-4 it looks like. So now we're bringing in 13.3 volts and 3.7 amps. That's pretty good, guys. I mean, considering my sun is not very good, and I am probably not set up exactly, and now it's, it's going up. So now it's adjusting. Oh, look at that thing, man. The sun just came out, actually just came out. So that's how much, see the eight amps now. So that's doing really well. I think this one is capable of 10 amps. So we're almost full power. And I believe that's what this is showing. I think this is showing the battery is almost full. I remember I told you guys, this thing, I ran it for at least another 20 minutes in, uh, it didn't really run down very well. So this thing is really doing well. I'm impressed with this uh, controller. Let's just see how many volts it's putting out. So I'm gonna disconnect it. Let me see how to do this now. Okay, we're gonna disconnect the battery. So negative first, which is over here, and positive. All right. Let's, we're gonna pull this off. I'm going to set my voltmeter up here again. Now, at this point, these are right, I'm pretty sure. So, positive on this side. Okay, and then we're going to put negative in here. And it is, right? We're 20.05 volts. All right? So, it's putting out pretty much what it should. So, that's why we we're doing good. And the sun is out right now, so this is probably pretty much max. All right. Just wanted to show that to you guys too. It's not a review on the solar panel but or the battery, but uh, still kind of need to see what we're working with here. All right, guys, the part that everybody loves to see. Here we go. We're going to pull this piece of plastic off of here. There we go. All right, guys, my lovely wife is going to help me with this, and we are using GRS, so she's totally legal. And right now, let me turn this on. As you can see the screen, we're on 160. The only place on vertical, so you may have problems with this thing having some noise at 160. And right now we have the power on. The, uh, she's, it's hooked up right now, so we're actually charging the battery. We're looking for any changes in the waterfall, guys. She says the power's off. 
all right so I saw no difference there but on on a vertical you may see this because when I hooked it to my uh, half square it, it did have some noise on 80 and 160 okay connect power so we're watching the waterfall guys Oh, I do see some of this power off. Let's just watch these little lines here. Kathy, is the power off? No. Do power off now. Okay, you guys can see that it, 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 did, it does have some noise. Power off. Okay, so there is some noise there um, <clears throat> on, on the 80. And I did see that on the vertical also. So let's go to 40. Okay, power on. Power on. And hard to say we get all this noise on 40 right now. Okay, power off. Power off. Okay, I didn't see any change there, guys. So let's go to 30. There's virtually nothing there. Power on. Okay, I see nothing. So let's go to 20. Okay, power off. Power off. And virtually no change there, guys. Let's go to 17. So sh there's nothing on right now, so. Okay, power on. And she's waiting for it to actually power up. Power on. Okay. So nothing there. All I see is FT8. All right. And here we go again. So the power's on right now. So some of these lines might be something to do with it. Okay, power off. But I don't think so. Power off. Yeah, virtually no change that I saw. Let's go to 12. The power's off right now. And I have all the noise and rejection and everything off right now, guys. It's turned off. Okay, power on. Power on. Okay, nothing there either. We'll just go up to Citizens Band. All right, power off. Power off. And I don't see any change there either, guys. Meter power on. See, I don't see any difference there either. To the six meters, okay. Power off. Power off. All right, guys. All right, thank you, Kathy, for your assistance there. We are done on your part. All right, guys, I actually like to thank the good folks over at uh, Bacteria for actually supplying me with the uh, the cords, the extension cords, and the uh, charge controller also, so I could uh, bring this information to you guys to show you how it worked. Okay, I have screenshots here. This is the real-time monitoring right here. It tells all that what's going on charging-wise and battery voltage and everything. And then we go to historical data. So this is storing the data for you. And that's that's kind of nice also. And then we go into parameter settings. So this that you can go in and change some of your settings here by unlocking it. Pretty cool. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This seems to be a pretty nice controller, especially for the money. And remember, down in the, dis the uh, description, I will have a link to this also so you can purchase it yourself. It probably will be an Amazon link, which will actually help the channel. What I mean by helping the channel is if, if you do purchase it from my link, I will get a small commission usually from that. And it, it adds no cost to you, the consumer. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all that way. You'll get all my future videos. And I'm going to have a little more stuff on this. So you might want to stick around if this interests you. I'm Chuck KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures 73 all and hope to catch you guys on the airwaves.